Hello everyone. I've been working again on uh, Muse Score. Uh, I've been working on the mixer this time, some improvements there, and I just wanted to uh, quickly show what some of the changes are. You might notice right away the graphical display is quite a bit different than what it was before. We have these sliders over here, which can be used to uh, change the volume. Uh, of course, the pan is here, and uh, you have the mutant solo like before. Uh, and most of the uh, controls have been moved over here because uh, they're a lot more complica complicated now. So what we're going to do is have a very simple piece here. We're just going to start playing it. And we can use these uh, sliders to take it down to uh, just change the mixing levels of the different parts as uh, we had them before. Now, a new thing you can do is you can click on a part, and this uh, auxiliary dialog over here will be opened up with uh, all sorts of extra information in it. So, and this time, if you change the volume of the drums, you can see it automatically changes over here. And you can even use this slider to also change the volume of the drums. And you can even use the, uh, dial the box over here to change those numbers one at a time or even put in a specific value uh, if you wish. Uh, that will... Here, let me stop this. Uh, a lot of people uh, requested this feature. It um, just that much more precision, precision and exactness. Same thing is happening here with the pan. Uh, let's uh, start that going again. And uh, let's, let's keep those guys a little bit quiet. Now, I don't know if you can hear this uh, through YouTube, but we are shifting the panel between our left and right speakers by twirling that knob there. And another thing we can do is uh, mute and solo. So if we want to get rid of the violins, put on the mute there, they go away. Same with the saxophone. And you can also do the solos. Uh, this way, only the violins play. Now you can hear the saxophone and the violins, and now uh, there go the violins. So uh, that's the basics. Now there's also the reverb and chorus. These haven't really changed since the last one. Uh, this does not actually cause any reverb or chorus to happen in the playback. This is more for the MIDI out. So if you have a MIDI device attached to uh, your computer that's listening for MIDI events, that's where the, this information goes. Um, there's also a new feature here, this expand button. Uh, for some parts like violins that have multiple parts to them, if you click that, you can now see those parts are broken out into a, a, a group of three. And um, before, you would have seen all three of these parts uh, at once. Uh, there was no way to collapse them before. Uh, which was a little bit confusing, gave you an awful lot of extra stuff in the mixer you didn't really want to deal with. Now by clicking this expand button, you can uh, view them explicitly if you want to, or you can hide them away if you don't want to see them. Now if you uh, go into the violins, let's uh, solo the violins. Now you can see I have this uh, set up so that there's uh, a normal section, a pizzicato section, and a tre tremolo section. And by soloing just the normal section, you only hear this little bit here, and the other two do not play. But you can turn those back on too. So you can see that these are all independent. However, so let's put that like that, and let's put these guys on mute. And you can even uh, adjust the volume independently. So if you listen, yeah, the pizzicato is being controlled independently of the rest of this. However, you might want to control them all at the same time, so if you collapse them, then this single control is going to affect all of them simultaneously. So that way you can still have the power to affect these things individually, but you can also affect them as a group. And uh, that goes with the pan as well. If you want to uh, set the pan individually, but if you then collapse and do it like that, then that value gets mapped across all three of them. 
Uh, another thing you can do is you can change the names of these things. Now the name is shared across all three, so if you change the violin to um, uh, Helga, this is a violin named Helga, you can see the names of all three change, but you can still see the uh, extensions down here, and that also appears here in the channel. This is just to show you that these are all variations of the same part. Uh, one more thing you can do is you can change the color. So if you want Helga here to be yellow, you can do that. And now the background changes color. Uh, some people like this. It helps keep things separate. You can also change the main Helga to a uh, dark red. Something like that. Maybe a dark purple. And uh, you can see there's the color. It's just uh, changed there again. And if we collapse this down, if you let's say we want to set them all to the same color, let's uh, make them all sort of a nice red. Oh. Uh, they stay independent like that. Um, I might change that in a revision, but uh, you get the idea. And uh, that is the bulk of the changes. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like this, if you see anything you would like to make further changes to, and uh, check out MuseScore, and check out these changes. This is uh, hopefully going to be in the 3.0 version. Uh, it's... Um, and the three point is in the development branch right now and we're going to see going forward uh, how this affects well whether or not people pick up on it or not in any case that is the state for an oh uh, one more thing i didn't show the drum kit button this hasn't really changed from before this just allows you to switch from the uh between the drums and the instruments so right now we're in drum kit mode there are all the different drum kits you can use in MuseScore. But if you check that off, you are now in the um, instruments. So uh, that was in the previous version. I'm just showing that it's uh, been incorporated into this uh, new version. Anyhow, that is the state of things for now. Uh, comment below if you want to make any comments, and thanks for watching.